Queen Elizabeth, the world's longest reigning monarch, has died after serving more than seven decades on the throne. The impact of her loss will be immeasurable. She was a constant presence, the only monarch most Britons have ever known, and she guided the monarchy through many difficult days. People are gathering outside Buckingham Palace, even though it's 3 a.m. there, to pay their respects to the late monarch, placing candles, flowers, and cards outside the gates. She died at Balmoral Castle, her summer residence in Scotland. Members of the royal family rushing to her side after her health took a turn. A fleet of cars carrying Prince William, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and his wife Sophie, the Countess of Wessex. They all arrived at Balmoral this afternoon. Prince Charles, the heir to the throne, along with his wife Camilla and sister Princess Anne were already there. BBC Television is broadcasting this special program, reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. The BBC announcing her death moments after it was known, a surreal and somber moment. The network went on to play the national anthem, God Save the Queen, over a portrait of Queen Elizabeth in full regalia. The flag over Buckingham Palace is lowered to half staff and the royal website is temporarily down, featuring only a tribute to the late queen. She reigned over the UK as it rebuilt from war, lost its empire, joined the European Union, and then left it. She was committed to her role, even during epic social and economic change and family scandal. The last photos of Queen Elizabeth are from just two days ago as she met and approved the appointment of new Prime Minister Liz Truss, the 15th Prime Minister during the Queen's reign. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Our country has grown and flourished under her reign. Britain is the great country it is today because of her. U.S. presidents past and present are expressing condolences. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden say that Elizabeth defined an era. Former President Donald Trump says that she, quote, will always be remembered for her faithfulness to her country and her unwavering devotion. Former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter also issuing statements. U.S. flags flying at half-staff in her honor. Governor Tim Wall says he's also ordering flags in Minnesota to be flown at half-staff. The Queen was healthy into her 90s, although she used a cane in appearances after the death of Prince Philip last year, her husband of 73 years. Officials say she will be laid to rest next to Prince Philip on the grounds at Windsor Castle after a state funeral. The Queen was arguably the most famous person in the world, an image of comfort and strength for generations here in the United States, too. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joins us now in studio, and uh, Rose, Minnesotans are also feeling this loss. They sure are, Randy. Queen Elizabeth II has been a symbol for her country, a job she took very seriously for the last 70 years. Today, people all over the world, including here in Minnesota, are mourning her death. <laughs> A somber mood at Brit's Pub in downtown Minneapolis as Minnesotans say goodbye to an icon, Queen Elizabeth II. So even when times are bad and everything, it, the Queen's always been there. And uh, we're talking about like every single generation, what I've ever known. Customers, some with British ties, listening to music played in her honor and watching BBC coverage from thousands of miles away. Probably most people have never known another monarch, so it's a big, big deal. Professor Susie Steinbeck is a local historian of women in Britain. She says love for the 70-year ruler runs deep, not only in England, but here in the U.S. as well. That's why we love Bridgerton so much. That's why we love Downton Abbey so much. Um, the Queen fulfills and speaks to a lot of those fantasies, just what we think Britain ought to be. For decades, people have felt connected to Queen Elizabeth, a mother and a philanthropist who had a strong sense of duty and did not share her personal views. And she has done an exceptional job at a very odd job. There's no doubt the Queen leaves big shoes to fill. It's like the whole of London comes to a standstill. That's what it's going to be like now. People with British ties hoping King Charles III is up to the task. I think it does remain to be seen what image he decides to project, what projects he decides to pursue, what persona he decides to adopt. I think he has every chance of being popular, but it is not a given. 
Now, one thing the British monarchy does very well, rituals. So Professor Steinbeck tells me over the coming days, we can expect moments of silence and other traditions fit for a queen. Kelsey. All right, thank you, Rose. 